Honey? Honey, where is it? That was it? For reals? I just love that movie so much, I wasn't even paying attention. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's move on. All right, Chelsea, tell me, how do you feel about Pixar? I love Pixar. I love all their movies. They're so cute, but they always make me cry. So it's like a love-hate thing. Well, today I'll be showing you 10 different clips from various Pixar films. Okay. Each of these clips contains a mistake of some kind. Oh. If you can spot the error, you'll get a point. I love these. I'm not that great, but after I know it, it's like all I see. I don't pay attention to frames like other people do. I just watch it as a whole and I'm like, wow, colors. I feel like I'm just gonna be watching the movie the whole time. As usual on our Find the Flaws episodes, there will be three Pixar Easter eggs planted in this video. So one lucky person that comments or tweets at FBE with the correct time codes and flaws will be entered to win official React merch. Ooh, okay, good luck guys, good luck. I'm telling you, Big Daddy, you're gonna be seeing- I love this movie. It's like one of my favorite Pixar movies. Like on Monstropolis is most wanted. <laughs> You've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. <laughs> what am I Guy, this has the best soundtrack. E. Sullivan. Mike Wazowski. Listen, it was quite delightful meeting you and whatever that is, but if you don't mind, I have to study my scaring. Ah! Oh, it was in those clips? Oh my god! I wasn't paying attention to see, I was watching the movie, I'm like, oh, I haven't seen the original Monster Snake in a while. Do you know what the flaw is? <laughs> no, I don't. I have no idea! I feel like the flaw is something with the characters and I totally missed it. Was it his teeth? Or like, <laughs> that's my tater. What? Was something wrong with Mike Wazowski? Like something on his eye? They didn't meet in the fourth grade. Since the fourth grade, James P. Sullivan. Oh, he says since the fourth grade, and then they're saying that they met in college. So in the original Monsters, Inc. film, Mike implies that he and Sully have known each other since elementary school. However, in Monsters University, we see Sully and Mike meet for the first time. Oh, it's a, it's a story element. The filmmakers made a conscious choice to not honor this original line when making the second film since it inhibited their story. I think that's fair. I mean, it's such a throwaway detail that they made, like, 15 years before this movie came out. I don't think like watching that it ruins the story at all for you. It's just a new origin. Damn. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, whatever. Okay, next one. I'll do good. I'll do good next one. I want it to be something with the mustaches. It's probably already happened, huh? Wait. That van wasn't there. I could have sworn that van wasn't there. No? Please let me in. No. What? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> it looked so like perfect to me. I don't know. I would say maybe like when it was showing the shadow of the balloon going up, it was way higher than like when it actually showed it or the window was on the opposite side. Something hit the car, it broke off, but then it was still there later. I think it was one of the um, pieces of the of the house that was that broke off already was still hanging off. Nope. Uh, I tried some bullshit on that one. Russell is not on the porch when the house takes off, but he is on the porch once the house is flying. Ah, uh, he was hiding. He's a survival scout. They can do that. Because Disney don't care about no rules. They do what they want, so it works for their stories. Dang it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, Frozone. Okay. Honey. Honey, where is it? Honey! What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super, super suit? suit? That's such a famous thing. I love that. Was there a noise thing? With like the attack or something? The super suit was missing. That's the mistake. It should have been there. The flaw is that he didn't have a super suit. It was more of a narrative issue though. Is the flaw that anyone could afford that type of house in New York City? Is it the cologne and it was facing one way and it's the other way? Like the cologne was on one side and then it was on the other when he turned. So in the first shot, oh, there are actually two aftershave bottles. Uh huh. In the second shot, the one he was using with the cap off disappears. Oh, wow. Okay, I was close. How did the frames change so drastically that you forget to put like a bottle back in? That's so funny. My dad says he can Oh my goodness, one Bugs Life, I haven't seen this in so long. Where is he now? My dad doesn't think that. He doesn't, huh? I'm looking at every blade of grass. Die. I'm okay. I'm okay. I love it. Your dad's right. He's gonna die. 
You just watch. He's gonna get the bestest, roughest bugs you've ever seen. Oh no! They're—I feel like they're getting more and more difficult. Was it maybe something with his backpack? Nope. No, of course not. Is it his leg? <laughs> no. Is it the rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> No! Was it the wrong per dad? Did they mix up the bugs? And who was the, like, the one who was dad, whose dad it was? My dad says he gives you one hour before you come back to the island crying. Does he now? My dad doesn't think that. He doesn't, huh? Nah, he's spitting you're gonna die. Your dad's right. He's gonna die. Oh, was the opposite aunt that said the thing about the dad? Oh. How are you supposed to tell the difference between, like, a million ants? They can't tell the difference. Different, different dude. Maybe same dad though, different baby mamas. Shit, that's Pixar T. True, true. Ah, now this is a good sequel. Once again, too many colorful details. I just want to cry with this music. I don't. It was it. You showed it to me already. Oh no! The toys like changed hands when it was in the camera. I thought I saw something. I think it had to do with the shape of the toy, like the positioning of the toys. I just love that movie so much. I wasn't even paying attention. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's move on. Did they drop the toys and they weren't there in the next scene? Dude! Something in the room had to have moved. There were too many things in the room though. And his hands, it went from uh, Buzz Lightyear to Mr. Potato Head. While playing, Andy had removed one of Mr. Potato Head's eyes, but when the shot changes, suddenly the eye is back in place. So. Looking at that, I didn't even notice that his eye was missing. Small details, like I honestly do not think of this stuff when I'm watching a movie. No! Hey, Hold on, I'm coming! Swim down! Come on, kids! Swim down, come on! Just keep swimming, just keep swimming! That's it! Alright, lots of fish. Good work! Yeah. Nemo! Oh! Bait. <laughs> this is my favorite Pixar movie. Maybe he switched hands. I don't know. Okay, something with that picture was fishy. Huh? There's an extra fish that comes back when he gets caught. Was it, what's her name's picture? Was it like on one side of the tank and then it was on the other side of the tank? Is it the picture frame? Nope. Dude! <laughs> was it a different type of bag or something? Because I think he had like a Ziploc type thing and then the second one is like tied. That's correct. Oh my gosh, yes! So when the dentist, P. Sherman of Fort Two Olive Bay, Sydney, scoops Nemo out of the tank, he's using a Ziploc bag with a zipper on top, but moments later, Nemo is seen in a plain bag with no zipper. Oh, it's a tie-up now. That could be anything. That could just be the lining of the plastic at the end, you know? That's a significant difference, though, too. All right, whatever. I lost, guys. Oh no, we're crying! Aw, inside out. This was fun. Thank you, Riley. I know it can be tough moving to a new place, but we are happy to have you here. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, are you good, fam? The guy behind her. Is it the tears? I didn't see tears in the beginning. One of the kids moved. No. Hairstyle changed. No. Tears changed positions. Was it the notebook? <laughs> it was! It was the notebook? The position of Riley's notebooks completely changes between shots. Always these little things. Always these little things. That's crazy. I didn't notice that. What? I don't know who's finding all these things, but they have a very, very good eye. I do not. <laughs> you going on vacation? <laughs> I quoted the scene all the time. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Too much happening. Too much happening. Cars don't sleep. No? Uh, you can't make bobbleheads without hands? Oh my god, that one is, I have zero clue. But the cars have changed in position, yeah. I heard the light-up car go. There's, it was a pretty wide shot. Is it that when they go to the other shot, the cars are not there anymore? There was cars there, and then when he's going out, there's no cars. <gasps> Did I get it right? Oh my god, I love you! Oh, yay! Oh my god. <gasps> okay, when we see lightning slide out of the truck, the cars that were alongside Mac have suddenly disappeared. When we cut to the reverse, they're back in their same places. Ah, uh, but you don't know, like, different shots are different perspectives. You're focused on a different subject. Come on, guys. Just edit in the cars back in. Hey, Remy, you think that maybe we shouldn't be so... Oh. <laughs> Oh, you got a 
taste this. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's got this kind of mm, it's burning, melty. It's not really a smoky taste. It, it, it's a certain. Oh, it, it's kind of like a. You know, it's got like this boom zap kind of taste. Don't you think? I don't know what the flaw is, but I love the idea of getting hit by lightning and being like, "What's for lunch?" They go on the road chimney. They're like, "Oh, he's here. He's here." Lands. But they switched. Was it what he was cooking? It's a different food item that was cooked. The food was on the spit, and then he has it in his hand mysteriously. Either that he had it on like a freaking metal like spinner thing, and then it comes in like a tiny stick, and also like the mushroom looked different. So the mushroom is skewed on an antenna, but once the boys are blasted off the roof, it's magically on a stick. To be fair, lightning, it's magic. I feel like... When something is hit, hit by lightning, there's a good chance it might fall off. Yeah, because I'm sure if a tenant gets hit like that, it's still not going to go to like a burnt little twig. <laughs> ah, he's so cute. He's adorable. Wait, wait, that's all? That was it? For reals? I don't know. That was like two seconds. Come on. The Rubik's Cube changed positions? Rubik's Cube was... Mathematically impossible. It's a Rubik's Cube. It's, it's it's different colors. Was it the Rubik's Cube? What about the Rubik's Cube? Was it different colors? Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Yay! The colors on the Rubik's Cube change places. How do people even see this? How, what are you looking at that you pay attention to the Rubik's Cube? You could pay attention to the sport. I don't know, I'm usually good at finding flaws, but these ones are so minimal that it's really, really hard. So I'm really proud of myself for that. That was really hard, okay? If, if I didn't pause it, okay? No hints. Do you have anything you want to say to our viewers who are looking for the Pixar Easter eggs in this episode? Good luck. Hopefully you do better than I did because <laughs> I don't think one is a good score. Am I the flaw? Thanks so much for watching Find the Flaws Pixar Edition. Subscribe for new shows every single week. How did you do on this challenge? Let us know in the comments. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. React producer Mary here. Do you want to show your love for FBE? Then head over to shopfbe.com to check out our latest merch. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.